Hi friends! It's ink journal time! Well, ink flight from ink journal. Um, I checked the status of this yesterday and it said it was going to come Thursday. And I was like, oh, that's a bummer, but exciting still. And then here it is! It's not Thursday. Why aren't you opening? The, because I'm trying to open this side. Okay. Uh, okay, we got some stuff. Oh, cool. So we got some stickers. Hey, it's a cat in the hat to puss. Anyway, we got some rickshaw stickers. They're local. We have a got ink pen sleeve or really awkward finger warmer. Um these set of two pocket notebooks some inks so what's this say compoco or paco written in the stars soft cover saddle stitched elegantly adorned blah 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 64 lined pages of 3.54 inches by 4.72 inches. I must know. Yeah, that looks like uh, 90 by 120 millimeters. We can't say that though. Heavens no. That would be letting the fascists win. Stick to our imperial units, even when they are not accurate. Um, sorry. What is wrong with me? Should I start over? No, we're going. Um, they use ecological paper, 80 GSM thickness, saturated inks, and nib sizes thinner than B broad. Hmm. Huh. Founded by two sisters who share a passion for inspiring design, Compoco imagines stationery that communicates the idea anything is possible. Except apparently writing with a broad nib. Rickshaw Bag Works. Got ink. Solo pin sleeve. Does anybody remember Got Milk? Like, is this appealing to just a certain audience? Is Got Milk kind of a known thing? Curious. It was a book. One Christmas when I, so this would have been 98, Christmas probably 98, their, the Got Milk photo book was like, anyway, whatever. That's not what we're here for. As a bonus, Rickshaw included a bunch of assorted stickers. We didn't mention this. I'm excited for these. And though I joke, this this does look like a great notebook. Well, two notebooks. And then we have the inks. I'm not turning it over. I sort of accidentally saw it and I saw some words on it, but I'm trying to tell my brain that it didn't see it. Does that ever work for you? Are we just going to spend hours trying to take this piece of paper off? Instead of cutting it, like a normal person might. Not today. Here we go. And we have Wearing Goal. How? Oh, very exciting. Very exciting. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're Korean. Hey, I have one of these. 
welcoming travelers, drawing inspiration from classic literature, Waringal reinterprets novels and poetry into beautiful expressive ink colors. Last year, we explored Waringal's Korean literature ink collections. On this flight, you'll find a concentration of Western works. So we have first up, White Rabbit. Oh, obviously, this is from, is it Jefferson Starship? Jefferson Airplane? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or maybe it's from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Jane Eyre from the famous uh, novel series with Thursday Next by Jasper Ford. The, the first book of which is called The Air Affair. Um... Waringal Wayfarer. This is the one I already have. Waringal King Lear. Well, they're all Waringal. You can stop saying that part, Maria. Thanks. Pride and Prejudice. They left off in Zombies. I assume just it wouldn't fit. Uh, the Great Gatsby. On and on, like boats against the current, blah, 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 blah. And Metamorphosis. I know this one from home movies. They have a whole song about it. So, as usual, I have some blank call or ink, call, excuse me, call o ring cards. Some hairs on my desk, an automatic pen, a watercolor brush, a glass nib pen, and a steel dip pen that has a hair in the tip. That's great. That's great. That's how you want to start off is with hair in there. And... Um, I also have this Hobonichi Weeks with the lovely Tomoe River paper and one of the best pens ever made, the Pilot G2. That's just for writing the ink name. Or is it? Maybe I don't even write with fountain pens. Maybe everything you see is a lie. It's not. Maybe it's the end of a day and I'm feeling funky. Okay, that's not maybe. It's the end of the day and I'm feeling funky. So let's go. Go, go, go. How do we do this? Now I have that freaking song from home movies in my head. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should look it up. But it goes, no, I'm not singing it. I caught you trying to make me sing it. Psh. Okay, white rabbit. One pill. Sorry, I actually did the lyrics for white rabbit when I was doing my swatches of purple jade rabbit, funnily enough. Even though that song is not about a purple jade rabbit. Oh, wait, hello. And over here we have my Inga pet. Um, okay. I could play the the whole movies White Rabbit or Metamorphosis song. I would totally do that for you. I gotta do better W's. I have no one to blame for but myself because the Countess showed me how. I just didn't make it happen. Finished a quilt today during my lunch break. So that was nice. I 
Now I'll, I have to find something to do with it. Let's see if I spelled that right. Heck yes, I did. Good job, me. Did I read anything ever? From Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Take a tumble down the rabbit hole with this shading light orange pink color. Um... So, y'all, I don't, I'm not trying to call anyone a liar right now, but that is brown. And I don't understand why a white rabbit is brown. Or orange pink. This is one of those unlubricated inks that is like water. The what the inks that we that are watery that we refer to as dry. Mm hmm. We'll see what it looks like when it's dry. Kind of a beigey brown. Next step. Maria makes a mess. Erware. Jane Eyre. Mm -hmm. For real, though, the Eyre Fair, it's a pretty good series of books. I still doubt a bit because they, like, they're good, but I had, like, stopped reading for a bit, and then I had a bunch to read, and then they, I, they don't make good back-to-back -back reading for me. Um. But I liked it. I do also like. Jane Eyre by. Charlotte Bronte I believe it is. Um, there was no possibility of taking a walk that day. That's how that book starts. My dog really liked to listen to it. So I tell myself, I miss that guy. He was the goodest boy. to do that Maria apparently so yeah it does it says right here Charlotte Bronte this pastel violet shading ink represents the last scene of the novel and then it tells you what that last scene is oh you can see it so well just don't read that I'm not spoiling in the book for you but apparently it represents that let me move this wonder if there's more spoilers it's interesting to me to think of Koreans knowing Jane Eyre. I wonder if that just shows, like I just wonder are there, I feel like 
in the states at least we don't know much about we in school when i was in school we didn't learn much about asian literature there are probably very 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 few titles that i can think of um well that maybe if i sat down and put my mind to it i could think of off the top of my head i can't think of any I actually think in American school, when I was younger, our books were even more English than they were American. Hmm. I wonder if that's true. So far, we've got two inks here, and I've read both of the books from which they are named. Up the third one, we have Wayfarer. This is a shimmer. This is by Natsume Soseki. The color of blooming human suspicion. I now like this ink just that bit more because of the name. So aqua green base color, vivid red sheen, and violet shimmer. If my memory is, this is really close to uh, Emerald of Shavor. I have not read this. Like that F, I didn't go there. It's a little better. We'll take a look at, we'll compare it to Emerald of Shavor. I keep saying we. Maybe that's because I want you to feel included. really dry at the end there. I think it's starting to rain again. Still have a plywood window. So I called and I was like, yeah, they told me Thursday, it's Monday. Any updates, please? <laughs> and I heard today, it's looking like Thursday of this week. So I guess they were right. It's Thursday. Actually, he said two days, and I said, so what, like Thursday? No, this is bluer than Emerald of Shavor. Based on my memory of that ink. And the memory remains. You were all confused by that when that happened. You're like, why is there this old lady singing? The Beavis and Butthead take on it was great. <laughs> mm hmm. More lubricated. Than the previous you oh we're at my computer desk right now so I don't actually have very much space I usually don't film here but things happen and filming here is apparently one of those things next up we have King Lear I have not read this nor have I met uh King Lear let me know in the comments if you've ever met King Lear thanks
everything. Come on. Nope. By William Shakespeare. This ink illustrates the madness of King Lear showing tragical red glitter on a greenish gray base. I didn't think that red glitter represented uh, tragic tragedy. Whew! That white rabbit is looking rough. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's. Well, it's not dry yet. Let's withhold our judgment, okay? Thanks, Maria. Could you be nice? I love that noise. Oh, good job, Maria. I saw this happening. I was like, you got, you got, your setup is bad. Bad things are going to happen. But I didn't change it. So we can't be surprised when things go awry. Let's shake one more time. So we get that tragic red glitter. I wonder if this is at all like slag gray. I think not. I bet this is more like new slag gray. Let's ask Manda. You can kind of see, it's looking like mangy. It's fascinating. Kind of looks hairy. Uh, next up, Pride and Prejudice, no zombies. Definitely a favorite of mine. If you have not seen, is it 93? The version of Pride and Prejudice with Colin Firth, you're missing out. Missing out. This looks like super saturated. In fact, the letter from Mr. Darcy to, to Elizabeth, it starts, Be not alarmed, madam, is one of the things I like to copy. dipped my nib too far. So this, they say, this ink symbolizes the confrontation between love and wealth. 
Vivid pink represents love, while the golden sheen is wealth. It's an interesting conceit. In the thing, it reminds me of Solferino. Bibi Macopa. Like the way it coats the side of the vial. Ooh, hi, get out of there. Still enough to, sh to tint that. I'm going to have to watch home movies tonight. At least that episode. With the Franz Kafka musical. Well, let's be fair. It's a rock opera and not a musical. This is not the color I'd have picked for Pride and Prejudice. Mostly because I think of its sort of understatedness compared to literature of today. So it's, but it it's a good choice for the reasons they said, I, I think. So this here we have The Great Gatsby. So many bubbles to pop right then. That was delightful. What does this have to say about the Great Gatsby? This saturated navy violet ink with golden sheen represents the eroding morality of social stratification. That is a heck of a concept to represent with a color. But I love it. I didn't love this book. I didn't dislike it or anything. It was fine. I think I read it as one of those like, everyone has to read this, but I, hey, I didn't cross my T. That's funny. The Great Galsby. That's a different book. And that one, I don't know. Daisy just goes off and does her own damn thing.
close enough. This is honestly stunning. It's a it's a good purple. A rich purple. It's like a royal purple. Or excuse me, it's a navy violet with golden sheen that represents the eroding morality of social stratification. My bad. And last up, Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Um, focusing on the sudden transformation into a bug. This ink is a deep burgundy red with a copper colored sheen. You know, I didn't see any like goo in the bottom. So, hmm. Hey, you're in there. Don't lie to me now. Sorry, I was talking the ink. <laughs> Don't mind me. That looks like a V, but we're living with it. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Yeah, no goo. Oh, it said sheen, not shimmer. Thank goodness. Well, we shook it anyway. That's a fine. That's fine. Hmm, they've described this as a deep burgundy red, but going on wet, it is like a mahogany to me. I think is the color I want to describe it as, is a bit of a brown. So, closer to dried blood than wet blood? Because uh, we're all familiar with that, <clears throat> I'm sure. That's totally normal. So, now is the time on sprockets when we dance. Um, just kidding. Now is the time when I pause this and look for some comparisons. Or not, but probably yes. It will give things a time, a chance to try. Hi, we're back. I just put some stuff away. It was great. Um, so let's take a look. Here are the dried swatches on the call or O ring card. So white rabbit, which was described as orange pink. Yeah. Kind of a tea with milk. I don't know, I still mostly see beige. Jane Eyre. Pastel Violet. Ooh, it's lovely. 
Reminds me a bit of uh, dried lavender. Wayfarer, yes. King Lear, well, I think you can see the tragical red glitter. And a greenish gray. Yeah, I'd almost say a grayish green. So to me it reads green and not gray. But we all perceive colors differently. Pride and Prejudice. Vivid Pink with a Gold Sheen. The Great Gatsby. Navy Violet. Yeah, it has dried a little bluer than purple. And Metamorphosis. The little dot on the eye is still wet, but that is our burgundy with a copper colored sheen. There's not much sheen on this. I did not heavily apply. We'll see what Tamoa River looks like over here. So White Rabbit, it, it just, it looks like, it looks like this White Rabbit is sick. Like, let's put a piece of white paper behind it if that changes things. Not really. Like that White Rabbit has something. Um, Jane Eyre. So lovely. I like that it's a bit more muted of a color and I I actually think that one of the BBC versions of Jane Eyre, she wears a dress much, much this color. Wayfarer, yes. King Lear, it's funky. It would not be, like I wouldn't buy a bottle, but I think I might enjoy it. Pride and Prejudice, yes. The Great Gatsby um, reminds me of that um, Golden Summer's Blue, I think it was, by Krishna. I would show you the swatch, but that's actually helping keep my like tripod thing attached to the table. We don't have to get into that. And then Metamorphosis is so gorgeous on this paper. And not much sheen, just like more of like a halo, which I dig, dig. It's just this white rabbit is ill. Anyway, so I promised a couple comparisons. I need to remake this swatch card. It's just bad. So here's Emerald of Shavor. Here's Wayfarer. My Emerald of Shavor definitely has a rust-colored sheen. And I will say Wayfarer. Here's my other swatch of it. I get a slightly red halo. The shimmer color is different. This has a violet. I mean, what I'm saying is you are totally justified in owning both of these despite their similarities. <laughs> uh, for Pride and Prejudice, here is it next to Yamabudo. Similar. Not the same. Hissy Fit. Pretty close. Hissy Fit's a bit warmer than this. Hissy Fit doesn't have a gold sheen to it. Tsutsuji, my card has none of its sheen on it. Maybe I'll just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're different base colors. So, and then I think the closest I might have to that is, um, so here's one that I thought, is it like this? But I don't think it is, and it's not. Here it is next to Rider's Blood. Rider's Blood, which is purple. Um, well, is it? I don't know. Look. Rider's Blood is kind of brownish. This is browner still. What it is a lot like... 
well, similar. Is this Mandarin duck wing? So this you can tell is, it's funny in the camera, you can see differences that are not as obvious to me. This is, it's, it's like if this is a continuum here. So if you had to go from Mandarin duck wing to writer's blood, this color would be in the middle. Um, so here is our ink flight for March of 2023. Curious if you have any favorites. I have a couple of questions. Which of these inks is your favorite, if you have it, based off of that? But if not, just based off of what it looks like to you through the camera. Recognizing that this, of course, looks bluer in the camera. It's actually more teal. Um, so which of these is your favorite? And follow up, have you read <clears throat> any of these um, literary works? If so, which ones? So I've read... Um, Four of seven. That's a that's not bad. I just this he turned into a bug and I'm afraid of bugs. I don't know if we're gonna go there. So um the good thing is I kind of want to ink up a pen. But the bad thing is I don't think I'm gonna use any of these. These are gonna go in my collection for 30, 30 days, starting in April. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me while I got to play with some ink and have fun. I hope whenever you're seeing this, you're having a wonderful day. Um, please take care of yourselves. Bye.